It is the back to school season and I feel like it was high time we talk about some student bullet journal spreads. Whether you're first time going into college like me, you're getting your masters, you're going into high school, or maybe if you're not even in school and you just want some spreads to help you plan out projects, anything for work, this is the video for you and I hope that these spreads can give you some good inspiration. I'm excited to say that this video is in collaboration with Tori from Creative Minds Coffee Grinds. She also made a video about student budget spreads, so after you watch this video, go check out hers because her spreads are going to be helpful if you're a student too. Of course I have to create a cover page because if you know me you know that I bullet journal all the time which is why I am planning out all of my academic pages in my bullet journal as well and as you watch this video you will definitely see that this tends to look like a normal bullet journal setup except it's more academic and project based. On the left I have my cover page. I just wrote first semester of university because it is. I'm going into my freshman year and actually by the time that you're watching this it's it's a couple days before I move in so I'm super super excited to be able to start this new season of my life and so yeah this is going to be super helpful and then on the right I have basically a future log but only for this semester so August to December and my intention for the spread is to be able to write underneath each of these calendars which yes indeed took so long to write my hand was definitely cramping but to write under them the main tasks and events not really tasks I guess but more like project due dates and exam dates that are going to be going on throughout the year because obviously there's not much space here so it's not space for tasks but there is definitely space for big projects and stuff like that so I wanted to create a special place away from my future log to only be focused on academic events I need to track throughout the rest of this semester. I want to give a huge thank you to Grabby for sponsoring this video. They sent me their August subscription box to unbox for you guys and I'm super excited to use all of their beautiful stationery to decorate my Bujo spreads. As you can see we have a lot to go through. So first I have have this amazing pastel pad of just sticky like circles different shapes love the colors here then I have these little brush pen slash fine liners I've used these in a video before but I love this color palette even better they come out super super pretty and I especially love the brown shade in here next we have a journal because of course this one's kind of cool it has a grid in the background not a dot grid and so that could be helpful especially if you're taking like math notes if you're graphing anything like that and then now we get into the stickers and let me tell you these these are some gorgeous stickers. I love how they have a mix of like translucent and completely clear backgrounds on all of these. I especially love the ones with the girls and like the little academic outfits and the encouraging words. I'm going to adore using this in my spreads. Overall, this subscription box is a one-time purchase and customers will receive the box a month in advance. So for example, if you want to purchase the subscription box now, it will come every month in the mail a month in advance. That way you can prep your bullet journal ahead of time and you can make all your spreads before the new month begins. Every new month comes with a different arrangement of stationery, new products, new stickers, all that stuff and I think they are super super cute and give you an amazing variety too that way you can kind of fit no matter what theme idea you're planning in your head. Subscription boxes like this are a great concept if you're just getting into bullet journaling because it makes it easy for you not to have to go out and buy different stationery yourself. It literally delivers right to your door. So if you're interested in Grabby's subscription box services for stationery ephemera, pens, notebooks, all that stuff. I'll have a link in the description box below so you can go check it out. And if you want to use code MINGO15 on anything else on their website, you can also use that because Grabby has some really, really cute stationery and I would love for you guys to go check it out. So again, everything will be in the description box below and thank you to Grabby for sponsoring this video. To be really honest, I wasn't sure how I was going to decorate all of these spreads because I wasn't doing, you know, like a monthly plan with me. I just kind of was winging it doing whatever I felt like, which was really like freeing, honestly. But going through all the stationery that came in the subscription box was super fun because like I said there's a huge variety of different color stickers and um, patterns and stuff like that like for example even in this dot sticker pack alone you can see each page is a different color palette and I went with this pastel one because it had the right pink that I wanted but later I'm going to go into the other color palettes because they have more muted tones and overall it doesn't matter what type of style you want I feel like you can find anything in a box like this because they're just so random and everything is super pretty. If you got to this point in the video already and you have not subscribed girl what are you doing? I post bullet journal and productivity content every week and so you should definitely subscribe to see more of that content. 
I'm adding some stickers into this top corner because obviously I didn't need a month here. I'm only doing August through December. And I also wrote the title this semester in calligraphy because I love a nice little semester overview page. I felt like doing the title vertically instead of horizontally like normal was something a little different, you know? It mirrored the posture that the um, sticker of the girl is in and I think it also filled up that little nugget of space quite nicely. Another thing I wanted to do was add butterflies. Literally don't ask me why, it's just a super easy thing Thing to draw it's pretty you know you can never go wrong with a little butterfly theme in fact i think it was two years ago sometime in 2021 i did a butterfly theme as like my intro to my new bullet journal setup i'll have a video linked down below if you want to see it but i basically made my own stickers on my then etsy shop which is currently closed but i made stickers of butterflies and i used that to decorate my spreads then and here we are throwing back doing butterflies again and i think it's just super easy i'm using the pens those pastel pens that i tested earlier and these are super fun i did mention that i've used these before in a video they have been sent to me before by a different brand and I think they're kind of funny. In that video I wasn't sure if they were a fine liner or a calligraphy pen. It's really weird because it's a super small like brush nib I guess but if you press really hard you can get some really thin calligraphy out of it so I used it as both a fine liner and kind of a thicker calligraphy ish pen <laughs> later in this setup. You'll see how I use it for different things. Moving on to this page this is going to be a weekly overview so I think it's super important when you're a student student or when you have a big project going on that you want to plan that you have a way to plan out your week and even if it's not like perfect give yourself an overview of how the week is going to go so at first I was only going to do five days but then I realized it's important to look at your weekends too because that's obviously extra time for you to be studying possibly but also extra time for you to be focusing on yourself and the fun things you want to do and I feel like even though those are a little less structured than things like classes and studying focusing on things that are more fun things for self-care social stuff those types of things are important to also generally lay down in a time block like this because i think it's important to purposefully set aside time for those kinds of things so as you can see i have a huge chart here and honestly i wish it wasn't that big because it takes up so so much of the spread but i needed room to write all the hours from 7 a.m in the morning to 10 p.m at night because i feel like that's a good amount of time not for me to be working obviously but that's a good time for me to be awake and working on things i've actually I've actually been trying to wake up at 7 a.m. during the summer just to get myself into the habit of waking up early before I moved to university and then that switch like has to happen you know so this is kind of a schedule I've been trying to keep myself on not necessarily like in bed by 10 but you know winding down by 10 doing your skincare reading a book something like that I do not want to work super late but I'm getting ahead of myself basically I'm gonna label it Sunday through Saturday now if you know me you know that I usually have Monday calendars but for some reason still in my head I visualize the week as Sunday first that's kind of how I was raised so although I do love Monday calendars and I use them throughout the setup for some reason in this timetable I want the weekends to be like bordering the chunk of time in the middle where I have classes so each time or each hour has two lines in my notebook and obviously I can divide that into half hours if I want to and then I'm basically going to use my markers and just color in blocks of time for each class and then I'll also kind of generalize blocks of time for church on Sundays possibly filming days on Saturday although I feel like my filming is going to be a lot less structured now that I'm in college but that's something for future me to figure out I'm also going to have time obviously after classes because I actually scheduled my class is to all start around nine and end around one so I actually have a really free schedule in the afternoons and I'm going to keep that time primarily for studying but also catch up on any content creation I want to or maybe in the evenings going out with a friend and doing something. I want to leave that space primarily open and not structured but I do want to make sure that I have intentionally set out time to do things that are not necessarily like reading textbooks you know what I mean so I feel like this is a really important spread to make even if it's not super restrictive just to kind of give yourself a visual overview of what your week's going to look like obviously things are going to change some things are going to be a little different but trying to keep yourself to a schedule is a good start because obviously college kids students in general have a hard time with time management and this is one way i think i'm going to be able to keep myself accountable as for decoration on this page i'm pulling out those girl stickers again as you can see in the bottom right corner although it's super funny i didn't realize how small she was in comparison to the chart it almost looks like a person standing at the bottom of like a skyscraper <laughs> it's so funny because the chart is so freaking big but i still think it's a cute decoration and it's really easy because it saves me some having to like actually draw out little, you know a cute little study girl at the bottom of the page i also drew a butterfly and the bottom 
left and then I have some circle stickers on the top left. Circle stickers are so fun. I love circle stickers. If you watch my August plan with me, I actually made my own out of the markers I was using so I made sure the colors matched. Maybe I won't have to do that anymore since I have more circle stickers to choose from now that Grabby sent me some but I did do that and they were super helpful in just adding like pops of color to different parts of the page without having to you know actually draw something. They're literally just circles and blobs and they're so easy. Moving on to the next page, this is going to be a class information class overview page. So personally for me, I need to compartmentalize my different classes in my head. Last year, if you watched my last year video about going back to school and all that stuff, I actually was a senior in high school and I only had four classes because I had late arrival, so I didn't have a first period, and I was in color guard, so that was my second block. So I only had two periods in the afternoons, both days, literally the four core classes. So calculus, AP environmental, literary, whatever, and what was the last one? Econ and Gov. And like those were four core classes, that was it. However, obviously college is a little different and I'm trying to like manage that in my brain. In case you were interested, I'm double majoring, currently thinking about doing film and marketing, right? Because that makes sense. I'm a video editor and a content creator, like that's just how I roll. But I have two film classes that I'm taking this semester that are very similar. So I have to be able to differentiate between them because obviously different times, different teachers, and it'll be easier when I'm in the class, actually taking the class. But like right now, they seem so similar in my head. So I have to be able to tell the difference between those. Another thing is I have a marketing class and I have a business class. So I'm sure those are going to be similar, but different but again I have to differentiate between them. So what I'm going to do is I have this class information page where I have six different boxes with ample space for me to write down the class number, textbook information, professor information, office hours, main exam dates if I need anything like that. As you can see I didn't write anything like you know office hours dot dot and then I'll fill it in later. I didn't do that because I wasn't 100% sure what I'm going to need. Sometimes I feel like when I write stuff like that like what I'm going to need to write down in here I end up not needing those but I need space to write other things. So I felt like I'll just leave it blank for now and later whenever I actually start classes I'll write down what's important etc. Obviously I'm going to get the syllabi from all of my teachers and I actually have already gone back to school shopping so I already went through all of my notebooks and labeled them. Um, a back to school haul should come out as a YouTube short tomorrow I think so look out for that. But point being I did write information like my times I'm going to the classes, my professors information. I did write that in the inner corner inside cover of my journals however I want to have them all in one consolidated place as well. So this is what this right is for. I'll update y'all on Instagram and show you what I end up actually using the pages for because I am, like I said, leaving it blank for now, but hopefully this will help me like visually manage what each class is for and it's different information about each class because obviously it's not the same way as high school and I have to kind of rework my brain to comprehend that. One thing that I think is really creative, like props to me, is using these stickers. So as you saw, I took these really skinny rectangular stickers out of the grabby notepad and I just chopped off the end and covered the little black line in these boxes to kind of create a little header. And then my intention is to write the name of the class like vertically along each of these strips and then I'll write all the information in black pen in the box. So that'll be a way for me to kind of differentiate between each of them, especially since the different colors help my brain recognize the different classes. Moving on to this page, which is going it looks especially similar to my August bullet journal setup if you haven't watched that video again linked down below but I set up my bullet journal for August and on the left I had a calendar for all of my events in August and on the right I had a big basic like brain dump for my goals and notes for the month and here we are doing a different spread on the left is shocker a calendar for August and on the right is going to be a big brain dump for my projects and academic to do's it's literally like the exact same spread but I mean if it ain't broke don't fix it this is a system that works perfectly well for me so I figured why not re-implement it for my study or school bullet journal spreads so I have a big calendar on the left here and it's basically where I can mark important dates. Like I said, I have the future log in the front to mark important dates for the entire semester, but this is only for August so I can really go into detail like what class that um, exam is in or like add a little bar for what week I'm working on a certain project, that sort of thing. On the bottom I have a section for academic goals because I felt like I have a little extra space right there, why not fill it with academic 
goals. I don't want to push myself too hard. Obviously, it's my first semester in college, but I have been taking AP and college level classes for uh, at least three years in high school now. So I feel like I'm moderately prepared for the academic rigor I'm going to face in university. So I do want to make sure that I'm keeping up with my grades, etc. I mean, everyone slacks like sophomore year of high school. So I figure why not actually like boost your GPA freshman year when you have the motivation to do so. And then when you get that sophomore year slump, then you can have a little more leeway. <laughs> that sounds so awful to say. On the right side, I have a basic brain dump for projects and to-dos, and that's because I really don't know yet, again, how I'm going to organize this because I haven't actually been to college yet. So I'm kind of leaving my options open here. I have a big brain dump for me to plan out any huge assignments, any projects I need to get done throughout the month of August. And when it comes to the next month in September, if I need to make another spread like this to fill up all of my academic tasks for that month, then I may change out the layout depending on how well this worked for me. But for now, I'm just keeping my options open depending on what happens. I'll fill it in how I feel like. Like I said, I'll update on Instagram to kind of show you more about what I'm doing. But I felt like this was just a super easy way to keep things open and give myself space and just ample opportunity to plan because if you know me, I am a planning girl. I hope these back to school slash student bullet journal spreads have been helpful to you. I wish you guys an amazing school year or if you're not going back to school then whatever you're using these spreads for, work, projects, whatever, I hope that you guys found some good inspiration. Again, a huge shout out to Grabby for sending me their subscription box to use for this spread. I got the August subscription box but if you use the link below in order now you can get the September subscription box ahead of time to plan your spreads out for that month of September. Again, use my code MINGO15 to get a 15% off on the rest of their shop. If you've gotten this point in the video, definitely subscribe because I post bullet journal and productivity content every week. You'll see more college content on my channel coming very soon. I'm super excited for that. Like I mentioned earlier in this video, this was a collaboration with Creative Minds Coffee Grinds. Tori made her video about student bullet journaling spreads as well, so I'll have it linked here on the screen for you to go check it out. I love her spreads. They're super pretty and I think they'll be super helpful if you are a student needing more spread inspiration. Have an amazing week!